Ah, te no pai. Ke ko nei mato e mahi te mahi ri wai. Te ra te kai tu hira. Te kai hau tu o te waka a te are pakahi koi a te tangata i tu hi tu hi nei te nei paki wai tara a ta hua roa tu mi haro roa. Ko hau hoki te te tangata maunga ringa ringa ropa mahi ri wai. Tai noa ki te po. Engari ratau taku tama Stan Walker kore taka hoki. Ane te 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 tohunga koi te tohunga o te mahi ri wai, Mr. Reynolds. Na na i faka tika tika wa matau haere. Ane te ahu tanga nga tika nga nga faka ri te nga o te mahi ri wai koi te te tohunga faka tau nei te ra ahu ku pai hoki. E nei hoki nga te haukainga, kei ko nei hoki. Nga kanohi te ihi te wehi o tai nui waka, kei ko nei hoki. Nga rātou e mahi te nei mahi. Nga rātou e mōhi o ana te nei āhua, te mahi riwai. He piki tia, mi haro rau atu. Ko tenei te wā mō ngā hot dogs. Engari. Ko pau ngā hot dogs already. Penei nga te ahua te low budget piki tia. He potato he riwai. Aro. No one thought to uh, boil, boil some spuds. <laughs> when in Rome. Kara ko he he hot dogs no aiho. Kara ko he riwai runga i te tepu. How's it going? Yeah. Well, it's going. <laughs> it's one of those ones. It's not one of those ones today, but um, I think it's going. We're in our last two weeks, and it's always uh, hard in terms of what we have to shoot in the day. But I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, this film has uh, got a wonderful script, a wonderful uh, draft that was written by Taurapa down there in the green. And it's very rare that these scripts come along. It's just, uh, I think it's quite magical. Uh, especially when that, um, I play Papa, the old man, and there's a family dynamic going on between me and my son, who's two day, played by Stan. So there's a bit of, I'm the hard man, and all I can see is a future in Mahi Riwai. You pick potatoes, pick more potatoes, and that's about it. Obviously, he's got another dream to break out of the norm, wants to become a singer. So it's got some lovely, di you know, um, sh lights and shades. And when, when Stan starts to sing, oh, it brings a whole new magical level to this film as well. So there's drama, there's kapahaka, you know, that's the state house in Pukekohe. But this family is not like the Heke family that I'm, we made up before. This one's uh, all to do with the Riwai. And it's, uh, I've had a really, really wonderful time, magical time working with most of the locals here on the Marae. They were, that was them, that was their job. They'd pick potatoes all, you know, in the, back in the 70s and 80s. So it's even great just talking to the locals and getting some of their history, some of their social background, and it's beautiful. Plus all the kai, of course. And when you get a whole lot of Māoris together, everything just seems to be beautiful. Yeah, sorry about that, we had to move locations. We got kicked out of the back of shot. <laughs> Always the case, eh? Start an interview and we get, hey, move the camera. But yeah, I'm very much enjoying this wonderful project. I think Teodipa has done a wonderful job um, writing a wonderful story. And for me, um, well, I've been doing this a while now, and I've, for the, I can really relate to my kind of. Uh, You're the veteran in this movie yes, too, because yeah. uh, the ones you work with the most are, are young boys just coming through. Yes, and a lot of them hadn't acted before. But as I said to Stan, I said, Stan. We all know you can sing, and we are, but I'll, we want to. We, Stan and I have been working together for a little bit now, but we, I, I wanted them. I want the audience to say, "Gee, Stan's a good actor," you know. You know, there was no problem with his acting. So, uh, so it's just uh, wonderful to have the script that has music, the family, the drama, and uh, for me, I'm just really relishing the part. I'm, I'm kind of pretending I'm, uh, I'm my uncles and my grandfather from the Maniopoto side, because they were all farmers. So. I'm really relishing my character and what I'm doing, and I'm finding that I'm not acting. I'm just trying, you know, I'm just playing the situation, so you'll soon see, soon see if I'm left in, he might cut me up. Now I hear um, <laughs> you you didn't take to, to likely to the um, spud picking. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you heard wrong, you heard wrong. <laughs> Don't listen to these fellas. I managed to pick the most spuds when we all went out on the training. These young fellas of mine, two sacks, ha, ko mate. Ko mate te tuara, ko hau te ringa raupa, te 
Te maro hoki o taku back. Oh, nee. Oh, you're a ma better actor. You don't give yourself enough credit. Mahi taino ki te poahau. Boy. Kia ora, girls. Kapai. Yep. But I heard you traded in the, the, the picking the spuds for a tractor. After I picked my 50 sacks, <laughs> I went looking for the tractor. I'm on the tractor now. That's Papa's job. He's on the tractor. But yes, oh, the boys had a bit of a laugh. Because <laughs> like this in this film here, we gotta we got to pick. We put the hooks on and we put our sacks on here and then you got to do the old school, you know? <laughs> yeah, now we got to do it the old. We're just going to, you know? Yeah, in this film here, we all had to go out training put the hooks on, and we had to pick potatoes like this. Put it all in there, put it all in there. Go like this, go like that. But yeah, stand in the mall. Kore take ra, kore take te mahiri wai. Ko hau te rangatira, ko hau te rangatira te me te ringa raupa. Te mahiri wai, tainoa ki te po. Now, um... Oh. Okay, another question. Yep. Hang on, Bob. Hang on. Yep. Many still associate you with your old characters, Dr. Ropata, yes. Jake the Mus. Jake the Mus. Is your current character anything like that? No, this one's nice. We've made sure to get that Jake the Mus totally out of here. There's been an occasion where, you know, we've had things, but we're trying to, we're playing him real, a gentle, like a, you know, some of those fellas just turn up and sometimes their presence is just enough. Yeah, we're trying to do it that way, you know. No yelling and screaming or aggression. It's more quiet. Still stern, still forceful. Don't tell us we have to move again. Oh, might have to move again. But yes, one of those guys, he's not like that, so hopefully people will be calling me Papa after this. Papa. This movie involves a whole lot of Māori. Yes. Is it a lot easier to play, uh, to, to, to work in films that involve a lot of Māori as opposed we to a lot, lot of, of the other films? We, we had a big scene last week in the pub and you know we have to use a lot of the local people and they immediately get into it and they, they move with ease, they move with humour and they like a little bit of a giggle at the same time and they're very professional as well so you've got a magic spirit and there's a bit of wairua. That's the difference and that makes everything seem not like work. Is it a, is it a little less strict uh, than what you're used to on other sets? No, no. There's always a camera. Always some clown running around going, quiet please. Someone putting up a light. Someone trying to get a camera shot. Some boom guy putting his mic in the wrong place. It's the same thing. And it's the same all around the world. Eh? There's a light, there's a camera, someone says action. But with working with a whole lot of Māori together, we tend to have a nice wairua, a nice modi, a nice life force that happens, and a passion. Also the passion, tihi, te wehi, te wana, for the project. So people turn up and work for nothing. People turn up all day and do it for the experience, do it for the love. Hopefully there's a kai at lunchtime for them. And once the Māori got the kai and the puku, oh, they're all good for the afternoon. It's you. Sometimes, uh, by six o'clock in the afternoon and they're kind of done it 600 times, they get a little bit tired, but other than that, it's pretty good. What have been some of the challenges? Oh, I think it's just, it's, I think, I think it's, it's quite a big film for the time we have to shoot it, so I think it's mainly on the production side, the numbers involved, trying to shoot a porphyry scene like this, for example, and this morning was beautiful sunlight, now we've got rain. So those are the those are the everyday challenges of filmmaking, though. But we deal with them, and we have another option to shoot inside. But we do it with aroha, with manaki and afina, and without the locals giving that, supplying us with the marae, the people. That's where my heartfelt thanks goes out to these people here from Tahukainga, you know, and with the faces that they show. Some of the scenes we've had in the houses and some of the party scenes. You can't script that stuff. They just turn up with it. You know, we can't write that stuff. So uh, I've seen bits of magic right through the filming process of this film. So hopefully we've just got two more weeks to go, put it all in the can. And as I said earlier, once that fella starts singing, ooh, ka mote we. Well, it must be hard when you talk about Stan singing. It must be hard for you to hold back because you're a bit of a singer yourself, aren't you? Well, that's right. Self-proclaimed. Ka tiga, ka tiga te kōrero. Ka tiga te kōrero. 
Yes, yes, no, no, I've just had to hold back there. I've had to hold back and, you know, let that fellow have a sing. Let that fellow have a sing. If he goes flat, I'll let him know. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Thank you. I think we're doing a welcome scene out there. The Porfiri group's going to puff it. And that's the mayor. He's come to give us our land back. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The Pofiti man's gone on strike. The widow man's on strike. It's too cold in this kitchen. That woman. That Tauranga warrior. Where's the Tamapahore warrior out there? Hang on. It must be a take two. It must be a take two. You must have sent the Kehua out. <laughs> 